Hi all, this is Ruthwick and this is our lab 3 final lab assignment for Python deep learning class. The task is, there are like 6 tasks and uh, I'll be explaining about 2 of them. So I'll be dealing with the image classification with CNNs using the monkey species. But instead of 10 monkeys, I have shortened the data set to 3 species because of my computer specifications. The other one is text classification with LSTM model as well. So I'll be discussing those through. So read this particular data set. So I have shortened down to three classes of three species of monkeys. So it has a training data set of around 390 images and the validation images of around 90. So with the once we unzip them and I've used I've trained this in uh the google collab with the gpu instance as my particular system was slow so once i unzip the data we, and we load them in that particular module so we found that 326 training images and the validation of 81 images <clears throat> we create a convolutional layer uh, with a dense layer as a second one and the activation function of Re relu and the final layer is a uh, so final activation layer has a uh, softmax and I've run this for 20 epochs. It took a, a really long time on my local machine, so I've used Google Collab. So <clears throat> uh, the accuracy is really bad. It's about like 35%. That's no way close. Well, it, it requires like hundreds of at least 100 epochs to be run. But you know, with the consider with the time consideration, I've run it for 20 epochs on just three classes of three species of monkeys. Accuracy I have got is about like 35%. Uh, this is a model summary. And the same thing can be visualized from the plots training and the validation accuracy close to 35 The training one the validation accuracy though remains constant at 35 <clears throat> The loss is fairly at 10% or more so it's pretty bad But for, for the understanding of tech image classification with CNN models. This is a good intuition to follow the second one is uh, text classification using LSTM that is a fifth program so in that uh we done we say the same way i've done it on google collab uh unzip the data and read the test data uh the data set so that you can preview the data set containing the text or the movie reviews make sure you download punct and wordnet from nltk because we we need them and removing or token we're tokenizing them to get the root words once we do that We create a Mokeras LSTM model with similarly softmax in the last layer as an activation function. So this I've trained it for like 10 epochs uh, and I've got a fairly uh, accuracy around 70% which is much better, much better than the previous model. So this is our training loss and the validation loss. You can see that the training loss fairly reduces with the epochs, number of epochs and the uh, uh, validation loss remains almost same because we have very less data for the validation but maybe we're training for a few more epochs we'll be able to get the better results so this is the demo and you can find the more source code in my repository thank you